So, after a little bit of convincing, I got myself a quest 3. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Neptune and welcome to my channel where we hooked ourselves up with the Quest 3. I've been debating for a couple weeks whether I wanted to upgrade from my Quest 2 to the Quest 3 or look into getting some other kind of headset um, versus a Meta one. After seeing what the Meta Quest 3 is capable of and some of the features that it has, I didn't want to wait any longer. I, I was super excited. I just had to go grab one. So today we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing to show what comes in it. I'm going to talk about how I think that it looks, uh, how it feels, comfort wise, do a little rundown on what's new and just give my overall impressions. I'm by no means an expert, but this is just for somebody who's used the Quest 2 for a lot of content creation. I wanted to do a little bit of an upgrade and I just want to see how it plays out to a pretty normal consumer. So we're going to go through, give some of our thoughts and we're going to get right into the unboxing. The packaging looks great as always. Uh, I feel like recently companies have been taking the extra step to make the packaging look better and make the unboxing experience of new tech that much better. And I'm all about it. I think that it's, you know, you only get to open new tech once. So getting a nice packaging to have it all in and all laid out nice and neat is always a good start <laughs> to opening something new. Um, uh, I'm excited. Let's hop into it. All right, first off, We've got the headset itself and the two new controllers. I'm excited about it. I want to look a little bit at these controllers first. As you can see, they took that tracking ring away from the outside compared to the Quest 2. So, I mean, for the most part, they look about the same size. But without that ring, I think that they're going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more comfortable in your hands. And I'm looking forward to see how well accessories work with these themselves. Um, hopefully that a lot of Quest 2 accessories are going to be able to be backwards compatible with these Quest 3 controllers. But I know that a lot of them strap around the ring with like Velcro straps to hold them in place. So that's going to be something that companies are going to have to look at. Now the headset itself, um, it doesn't, I mean it looks much slimmer. But holding it, it really doesn't feel too much lighter. It feels just about the same. I really like the way the new strap looks with these two different adjustment points on the back rather than one strap going right down the middle. Uh, I feel like this is going to make for a much more comfortable experience uh, to wearing it and overall I just feel like it's a little bit more supported on your head. So that is going to be a nice feature for sure. We're going to take a look at these brand new lenses. So they switched over to these pancake lenses which that's one of the reasons why the headset is a little bit heavier is because these things the lenses themselves are quite a bit heavier so they're gonna be, provide a much clearer and more quality experience than before but unfortunately with the headset being slimmer adding those back in did make it about the same weight it's not too much different it's a little bit heavier actually but i don't think we're really going to notice too much they did change where the usb-c port was on it last time it was on the side on the quest 2 as you can see here um, it did feel a little bit flimsy on the Quest 2, so I'm glad that they changed the position of that. Hopefully, it provides a better experience for not feeling that it might break off or it's going to pop loose. And on the opposite side, it looks like that is the 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones. I'm glad that they are not stacked on top of each other anymore. It wasn't that bad. It was just kind of a pet peeve of mine. I didn't like them being right on top of each other. And, uh, you know, I, that's just a personal preference, but... Uh, the face padding itself seems pretty nice. I've switched to like one of those leather cushiony ones on my Quest 2. So this feels pretty firm um, and a little bit scratchy compared to that, obviously, because this is a cloth. With that being said, it feels very quality. I think that just wearing it quite a bit is going to break it in pretty quickly. So that's not something I'm worried about too much. It, I mean, it looks great. It looks great. I'm excited to see what all that this thing is capable of. Uh, you can see the three cameras on there that's going to help with the full color pass through and everything. Yeah, dude, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to try it on. They did change some things as well. They, so to be able to move the, uh, the lenses to get them exactly where you want them to, they have a dial right here on the bottom. 
don't know if you can see that on camera. I guess if I do it quick enough, you can see him move. But that's going to be so much easier in forms of adjusting this thing to fit properly. And the faceplate itself, I don't know if we can... Yeah, we can kind of. There's two little buttons on the inside here where you can press those and slide it out. So you can adjust how far away from your face it is as well. So having all these extra metrics for, not metrics, uh, ways to adjust the headset to make sure it fits your face properly, huge improvement. I think it's gonna increase the clarity for a lot of people quite a bit and just give them a more comfortable experience where they aren't gonna feel like they're getting a little bit nauseous or something from being in VR too long. So I'm gonna try this thing on. We're gonna see what kind of features it has and we're gonna give some initial thoughts of how we think it sounds, how it feels, all that good stuff. Alrighty, we are now in the headset, and man, oh man, is this so sick. Being able to see this pass, full color pass through and be able to be in my office in VR is insane. I, it's one thing that I know that I'm not going to be able to stop talking about. It's going to be game changer. Uh, I do notice that if you stand still, things get very, very clear. It's very easy to see stuff, but once you start moving... Um, it gets a little bit blurry. It's not too bad. Like, I could still read all the stuff on my wall and stuff. Um, but that's one thing to keep in mind. I think it's mostly whenever it changes between all the different lenses. But I'm not 100% sure. It's really good, though, needless to say. Uh, I do notice that it's a little bit better in super bright light. Like, have all my lights and stuff on versus in low light. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're going to be using this a lot and you're like, oh, maybe it's blurry, that might be a reason. I'm not 100% sure, but just keep that in mind. Also, welcome to my office, guys. This is the first time that you can kind of see my office from my perspective. Um, don't mind the junk. That's just a bunch of golf clubs I need to sell. But you got my desk, all my stuff on the walls, the boys, which is awesome. If uh, they're being good boys like they always are, I can go and give them a pet, which is nice. And it's so easy to do. I love it. I'm going to be talking about this a ton to all my family and friends about how sick this is. Starting to get talking about the Quest itself. First thing I noticed, the controllers. Very light, very comfortable. One thing that I really like is you can see the battery icons uh, on the controllers here in VR, but they the little lights are not on the controllers in real life. It's just when you're looking at them in VR, but it's a super nice feature to have. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, as comfortability goes, sticking with my initial thing, the face padding is very firm and the material isn't that great. It's kind of scratchy. I think that for me personally, it's going to irritate my face. So I'm most likely going to switch to one of the silicone covers or completely swap out the facial interface whenever I first, when companies first start bringing them out. So that's going to be my first upgrade for sure. Other than that, I mean, the metal straps on the back of it where you like adjust, they're a little, they hurt a little bit. Like you can feel them back there putting some pressure and also the mask itself has some pressure on the top of your forehead and that's causing a little bit of extra like weight and you know, it's not the best. It's, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not bad. I could still do a full day of uh, playing it and probably be fine. Other than that, though, it's sick. It's uh, about the same weight as the Quest 2, uh, so no difference really there. I'm excited to see some of these mixed reality games. We're going to have a lot of fun. One of the big things that I never did was play a lot of games in the Quest 2 and record like this. Just because, one, they're a lot lower quality. So as far as making quality content, I, I don't like putting out fuzzy gameplay and stuff like that, which I feel like the Quest 2 kind of did. So I mostly had it hooked up to my PC and also that a lot of res, the lenses and stuff and the res of the games were a little bit lower and that would actually give me like a physical headache so I couldn't play for very long and that kind of, you know, bummed out of my experience a little bit but I can tell already this is a lot clearer. I'm excited to see what all changed. There's my avatar. I haven't, uh, I haven't looked at my avatar in a while. It's, it kind of looks like me, you know, but, uh, you know, we love our Golf Plus. Shout out to them. Um, I'm excited to play some games in this, though. I, I want to try a lot of mixed reality stuff. We're going to be doing a lot more um, videos with the with games that are just in the Quest. So be on the lookout for those. If there's anything that you want me to try, leave it down in the comments below. 
um, and I'm going to try my best to get to them. There's a couple games already on my radar that I definitely want to check out, so be on the lookout for those. A lot more VR content coming soon, and I hope you guys are excited as I am. We're going to hop into some games that I'm going to be playing on here, see how they look recorded on the Quest 3, see how they feel, see how they play, all that good stuff. So we're going to get into some games, and then I'm going to come back and give some final thoughts, and we'll talk more about how excited I am. So after playing on the Quest 3 for a little bit, I am even more excited to see what the future of VR brings. The Quest 3 seems like it's a really good upgrade and I definitely think it's worth considering if you have a Quest 2. If you're in VR a lot and you know you can't stay in too long from motion sickness or some eye strain and things like that, I think the Quest 3 is going to alleviate some of those symptoms. One thing that I did notice is battery life wasn't the greatest, especially when you're doing a lot of mixed reality. Seeing those cameras and having them turned on all the time, I think drains the battery a little bit quicker however there are going to be some new straps and stuff like that come out for the quest 3 and luckily i actually have a 3d printer and i finally got to put to use for stuff other than figurines i had i printed a little adapter out and now my quest 2 head strap fits onto my quest 3 that's pretty awesome. Like I said, if you guys do have any suggestions on games to play i want to do a lot more content that's actually in headset for the quest 3 versus having it my headset plugged into my computer and doing all like PC VR games. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you did like the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more content coming. I hope you enjoyed this little review unboxing type thing. I don't know what it was. It was my first time trying to do one of these like this. So uh, let me know how I did. Let me know how I did. I'm excited though. There's gonna be a bright future for the Quest 3 I feel like. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.